How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. You've been doing all this season, of course, and how does that affect your relationship with Archie? Because you always give us oh, and then Richie Moe is always a positive light. Yeah. Um, I think I think eventually, yes, there will be conflict. Um, but I think right now she's just you know they're they're grieving together, and um, you know I think they're both sort of bonded by the the love that they have for for Fred and also KJ and me. You know what we what we felt for Luke. So I think it's it's really powerful to get to see somebody. You know, for, for young kids to watch the show and see somebody lose somebody close to them that they love and still go on but have those moments where you remember the person. You know, I think it's, it's a good, healthy thing. It's like one of the healthy uh, parts of Riverdale. <laughs> it's not the unsavory part. Right, right. <laughs> you popped in and out throughout the three seasons, but now you're getting to play Mary Andrews more regularly over the course mm -hmm. of the season. Yeah. What have you discovered about the character? What's new? What's different? Well, I think we're still discovering that. Um, you know, we're we're just a little ways into the season, but I think I think we're going to get to see more of you know what what happens to her and and you know why she made the choices that she made, how they figured out you know the who would take those parental roles, um, and you and you sort of get to see her her fire too. She's. She definitely, um, she's, she's, she's a lot more fiery than I, I think people think. Speaking of the fire, so as we do see her, um, last few seasons, she hasn't been really as into the drama as any, mm -hmm. everybody else. Will we see more of that then? Yeah. With yeah. all the crazy stuff going on? Yeah. I mean, you can't be in Riverdale for, for too long and not, you know, not get a little dirty. Can <laughs> <laughs> you talk a little bit more about Lawyer Mary Andrews and what we're going to see? About the, uh, the the lawyer yeah. side of her. Yeah. Well, pretty much any time you need a lawyer, <laughs> she can no matter it. no matter what. Yeah, she can do tax law. She can do probate law. <laughs> she can do uh, criminal law. <laughs> yeah. And can you talk about how she's going to be more of like a moral compass, especially with the absence of Fred this season? Yeah. I mean, I think that that you know. Archie is in many ways the moral compass of the show and that he, you know, he's the one that always really wants to do good, um, but he gets a little lost, you know, he, he's, he's gotten a little, like, wanting to do good, but not necessarily going about it in the right way, which I think just has a lot to do with being a teenager. Um, so yeah, I think that I, Mary has had to sort of step in and, and be that moral compass, um, you know sort of fill Fred's shoes. So far we've mostly seen her interact with Archie. Obviously, now that she has a bigger role, which other characters can we expect to see her interact with more? Um, well, I'm hoping all of them. I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to, you know, having some interaction with uh, with Machen. I think we just had one scene together uh, in, like, season one. Um, you know, uh, I know I have some stuff with Jughead, I have um, a lot of stuff. I, I would say right now the characters I'm interacting the most with would be Archie and Veronica. Um, but I'm hoping that I get more scenes with the parents. With Veronica in particular, I'd imagine that Mary wants to be more of a paternal figure now that both of her parents are behind her. Can you talk a little yeah. about Veronica? Well, I think she really likes Veronica a lot. Um, you know, she's a very likable uh, character, but I think that there's something about just being a lodge that makes Mary really nervous, just because, you know, no matter what, she, she's always going to have that family connection, and, um, you know, but but I, I don't think that we, we haven't gotten into that so much yet. There was a little bit of a tease with this on the panel, the Sarah Florence discussion. <laughs> But is there anybody we should start shipping her with? Any <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a Roberta question. I'm just as curious as you are. <laughs> what would you say is the most challenging part about playing her? Um, well, for me, it's always been really challenging to play both the good mother, but also the mother that leaves. You know, sort of reconciling those those two facts. Um, 
you know, so I, 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 I would imagine that Archie would have some residual uh, feelings about that. So I'm, I'm hoping that we kind of get into that a little bit. And I think it's interesting too. I mean, it's, it's sort of makes her more complex and less of a, of an archetype, you know, if, if she's, you know, that's kind of like her big flaw. You know, I don't think it was necessarily the, the right choice. But. Uh, there's a lot of great scenes in the premiere, but the firework scene in the backyard is really beautiful and really sweet. What was it like filming that scene for you? Um, well, the whole episode was just like, you know, it was just like a raw nerve. I mean, we, I pretty much like cried from, you know, beginning to end. Uh, the uh, I think we pretty much filmed it in sequence, except for the um, except for the scene where where FP like talks to us about what happened. Um, that was filmed at another time, but it was just yeah, the whole thing. It was just like it was just like saying goodbye to him and kind of dealing with the sadness of that. I haven't seen the episode yet. Very good. I heard it's it's really moving. Involved in like the musical episode at all? Was I involved? The, the musical? Oh, will you be involved? Yeah, oh. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Do you think now that Mary's sitting around and Dale, she's going to want Archie to leave even more? You know, I think that's that's like a, a continuing battle that they have. She always wants him to leave, but you know, I don't think it's a battle that she will ever win. Um, because he, I think he really wants to be there and wants to make the town a better place. And I think eventually, you know, she's going to have to accept it. Uh, the Halloween episode seems pretty, pretty crazy. Does Mary get involved at all? Does she have a costume? Does she I'm not involved? in that episode. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, well, what about the Thanksgiving episode? <laughs> I am. I am yeah. in the Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, that's a really good episode. Anything you can teach about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just that there's a lot of action. In that episode, yeah, yeah. The show obviously loves doing like homages to previous work. Can we expect any for, for your previous work? Now that you're more involved in the show, um, you know, I I feel like they've already done that. I mean, with Breakfast Club, you know, I guess they could they could definitely do something. You know, uh, I mean, they are graduating this year, and there is going to be a prom, so. You know, that <laughs> they could, but that's a that's definitely a Roberta question. <laughs> and, um, towards the end of last season, I know Mary was like so protective of Archie and like his boxing, and she, I feel like she finally was starting to let go towards the end and support him and you know, um, just let him follow his dreams. But now that Fred is gone, like, how is that gonna affect like their dynamic? Is she gonna be more protective of him or is she gonna like let him go? I think it's just a little bit of both. Yeah. You know, I think she she wants to be protective of him, but she also has to accept the fact that he's growing up too, and that you can you can you can only protect your kids so much, and then they're they're going to have to make the choices themselves. So I think she you know she loves her son, and she's just going to be there for him through through everything. Mm -hmm. well, with that, you talk about like wanting to move him away, but maybe staying more. Does she find a reason like they they don't like it again. Um, well, yeah, she she did. I mean, she she said that she's not going anywhere. She's she has moved back. But does she like it? <laughs> but does she like it? I don't know. I don't know if she's ever gonna like it. But I guess I guess it depends on you know. I mean, she loves I think being near her son for sure. But yeah. Uh, I know you're joking about her being a all-purpose lawyer. Have you? looked into law at all? Do you have to do any research? Does it not matter? I mean, usually if if I am talking about law, I look up, you know, what it is so I can say it with some <laughs> some semblance of, you know, but then I but then I've also watched a lot of like The Good Fight and The Good Wife. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can you see what she thinks of the extended family living next door? Hopefully, yeah. 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 Do you think you bring any of your own personal traits into the character when playing her? Um, I think so. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to to play a character and not let some of your own thoughts, kind of you know, your your own mannerisms. 
come into it, and I'm a mom of, you know, uh, a teenager, so I feel like I it's kind of it's kind of in there. It's hard not to uh, to let that, you know. Some some of the times I, I I'll get into a scene or whatever, and I'm like, oh, this is the this is the voice that my kids hate. This is the, like, this is the, the voice that <laughs> sends shivers down their spine. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of, that was explored a little bit in, in, um, in a previous season. Um, I don't know if that comes up again or not. Yep. It's hard because I'm sort of figuring stuff out, like, as yeah. you guys are, maybe like a little bit ahead. <laughs> and then the stuff that I do know, I'm not allowed to say, yeah. so it's sort of, you know. Last question. Tricky.